And if you ask me now, do I regret studying in China? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I so much regret choosing to study in China. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my video. For those who are new, welcome to the video. And those who are subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Before I begin with today's video, I would like to mention something. So today is my birthday, guys. Woo! <laughs> today is my birthday. I'm absolutely in love with this balloon. My friend got it for me. And I just love it. I think I also like the sparkly little things inside. I love the balloons inside. I'm just so in love with it. And also the fact that it's custom made for me. I think it's beautiful the best thing you can have is celebrating your birthday on a weekend because we started celebrating my birthday on friday and today is sunday sunday my birthday is on sunday today but we started on friday and everybody is super tired at the moment they're all sleeping we're supposed to have a birthday lunch but i guess we're going to miss that because everybody's still sleeping but for some reason i'm just packed with energy maybe because it's my birthday i don't know but yeah guys isn't this cute? Don't you just like it? Isn't it adorable? <laughs> okay, I'll just put it here for now. So as I was saying, welcome back. So today I'm going to be covering why I decided to study in China. Initially, China wasn't um, the country that I wanted to study in. I was looking into Australia and the UK. But for some reason, I just ended up falling in love with China. And if you ask me now, do I regret studying in China? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I so much regret choosing to study in China. I wish I would have gone with a different path or different option, but it's too late now. Anyways, I'll mention why I'm so disappointed in China later on but let me first begin with why i decided to study in china so when i was doing my bachelor's i did my bachelor's in special education special needs and then during the course of my study i kind of noticed that i was more in love with the psychological aspects of special needs and not the teaching aspects because right now i'm currently a special needs teacher but I felt like I was more drawn to the educational, I mean, to the psychological part of it. So when I was doing my second year, I decided to pursue a master's program that would allow me to practice psychology. So I was in love with educational and developmental psychology because I had a background in education. So I wanted to be an educational and developmental psychologist. So I started looking into different universities, into different countries because um, the master's program for educational and development psychology, developmental psychology is not offered in Botswana. So I had to look for universities outside the country. So like I said, initially I was interested in Australia. I was interested in the UK and then through research and, you know, being online, I came across two YouTubers that, you know, I think they were the first people who really spiked my interest in China and who made me decide to go for China. So the first one is Ao Nedi Tiro. She is a Botswana YouTuber who is studying in China. And then the other one is Just Sipo Sami. <laughs> I think I pronounced it correctly. She is a Zimbabwean YouTuber. She's also studying in China. So those two kind of spiked my curiosity in China and also one time when I was still in university we attended a Chinese New Year festival celebration so I didn't know China was so diverse I didn't know it was so vast I didn't know it was so culturally rich and I just fell in love I decided okay China is going to be one of the places I'm going to apply to and I used to pray to God, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I used to pray to God to help me with my admissions because I was playing into a master's program 
all on my own i didn't have any help so i basically <laughs> i relied on the internet to help me so you know so when it came to applications i applied to different schools and by the grace of god i got admissions into those three countries that i just previously mentioned now the difficult but beautiful dilemma i had was you know comparing the three countries the three universities and deciding which one i wanted to study at so i i started looking at the duration uh in china i would be studying for masters for three years in australia two years in the uk a year so honestly if you're gonna be studying outside i feel like everybody would want to be gone for longer so china stood up in that in those regards and then the second thing was the course itself i later found out that um the course i was enrolled to in the uk was a masters of education program so afterwards i wouldn't you know directly practice psychology i'd have to do other courses same with the australian one although it was a master of arts but it wasn't really on developmental psychology aspects so that was also a disadvantage but the china one was exactly what i wanted i would study educational psychology i'll study developmental psychology and then it was also in line with the thesis my uh, my research thesis that i wanted to do so you know that was an advantage for me so that was advantage number two adventure number three was that china is close to my dream destinations i wanted to go to bali you know <laughs> i want to go to indonesia all those asian countries so i figured when i study in china it will be easier for me to travel those countries and travel those places for those who are subscribers to my channel you know that i do educational and travel vlogs i love traveling i'm com i i love traveling let me just end it at the i love traveling so I figured once I go to China, it will be easier because it's nearer, it will be cheaper for me to travel to those destinations and to those places. And then the fourth advantage that I felt China had over the two countries. And let me just address a misconception. You can study English in English in China. It's not like everybody who studies in China studies in Mandarin. So let me just address that misconception so australia china and the uk yes i would be studying in english but china stood out in the sense that i would be studying i would get a chance to learn mandarin so in today's global world because i might come back and decide i don't want to work in botswana it's always an advantage if you know a different language if you have skills in a different language so firstly china allowed me to speak a different language that you know is recognized globally and would be an advantage to my resume or advantage for me to have so that's why i decided i'm gonna go for china and i went for china and then i declared my sponsorship and admission in australia and then i just i declined it in the uk so that's my story now comes the heartbreaking part the heartbreaking part when i was applying for china it seemed like the COVID situation was getting better especially in china there were no cases you know people were now working around freely no mask no anything and it seemed as if there was hope that china would call us back into the schools but no that was just my false hope so i started attending classes in september i got my admissions in june so I was figuring maybe by September, you know, they would have said something about international students coming into China. Because as is, these borders are closed, we can't get into China. It's so frustrating. We are studying online for the meantime and we are just here waiting. We don't even know when we are going to be allowed into China. <sighs> it's a mess, guys. And it's so frustrating but yes the reason why i am regretting is because there hasn't been any official communication from the chinese government or even from my universities heck our universities don't even know anything that just 
so nothing has been said on when we'll be going back when we will be going to china so and also guys can you please stop asking me when i'm leaving for china it's so frustrating i'm already frustrated as it is when i'm leaving you better first to know i'll tell you heck i'll make a vlog about it <laughs> but for now that's the situation and when i heard that australia opened its borders i think it was last month to international students and they were they are not even going to be doing quarantine as long as they're vac vaccinated i was so jealous and for some days i was kind of down and i felt disappointed in myself like i wish i'd chosen australia i would be in school this time china we're still here but by the grace of god i hope they say something i hope they make some form of communication to let international students into the country at least just international students but like i said i always try to keep my videos under 10 minutes i kind of fail today but i hope that will be all for now i'll do other videos next time but because it's my birthday please allow me to end it there if you have any questions or any comments feel, please feel free to leave it in the comment section or you can inbox me i always leave my email so that you can send me messages if you need assistance in applying to china which i do not recommend but if that's what you want to do i'm more than happy to help you thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting thank you for the love you guys are just so amazing and please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and you can also share it to your friends for them to like and to subscribe as well but for now that is all for now guys that is all for today thank you and bye